Hidden for decades, the murky waters of the swamp now reveal the rusted hull of a formidable tiger tank. Utilizing advanced robotics, the team begins the meticulous task of removing decades of mud and rust from the historic armor. It's shifting to the left. Ease up on the tension. Reading at the hull weld is 155.3 millimeters. Copy that. Surface deviation on the turret is significant here. As the model rotates, we can see the complexity of the turret mechanism. My concern is the transmission housing right here. Despite years underwater, the intricate mechanical engravings and serial numbers remain legible, a testament to the swamp's protective qualities. So the lift points here are stable according to your analysis. Yes, the calculations are finalized. We can proceed with the primary lift. The initial cleaning phase is complete. We can begin the vapor honing process on the rusted sections now.
set it down gently right here. Okay, I'll start the calibration sequence. Good. Let's focus on the rust near the driver's sight first. It's the small details, the shrapnel embedded here, the camouflage paint there, that allow us to reconstruct the history of this tank. As you can see, the oxidation here is significant, but we've managed to clear the Waffenamp stamps beneath this section. This weld right here, it's inconsistent with the schematics for the AUSVE model. The stress fracture initiates right at this point. We need to measure the tolerance. Weighing over 50 tons, the Tiger I was the most formidable tank of its time. This protective coating is essential. It seals the raw steel, halting further corrosion while preserving the original patina of the tiger's hull. This protective coating is essential. It seals the raw steel, halting further corrosion while preserving the original patina of the tiger's hull.
This extreme close-up reveals the true extent of the corrosion. The swamp mud has preserved some...